heart. I witnessed that again last weekend. So, and they don't like it either. And it's a pretty horrible video. But we've also got horrible videos and photos of uh, the Border Patrol being attacked with rocks and having eyes put out, you name it, and being told they're not allowed to fight back, basically. So, uh, the political correctness has just gone into overdrive, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, Mexico's got Border Patrol. Why are they allowed to have, I mean, let me tell you, you try to sneak into Mexico and get caught by the Federales, you're going to get beat up, number one. Might get killed. And you're going to get taken to a jail, and you're going to get shaken down, and your family's going to have their credit run. You're going to pay, depending on how much money you got, 10, 20% of your income. Or you're not going to leave that facility. Is that racist? No, it's a predatory kleptocratic country. So our Border Patrol is 100 times better than the Mexican Border Patrol. The Mexican Border Patrol is on record one of the most vicious in the world. Oh, but, but that, that doesn't count. It doesn't count. You have U.S. citizens, black, white, Hispanic, you name it, are being murdered all over the border. In fact, since I said it, let's just go to this, uh, this uh, video. The article, if you want to see it, of your radio listeners up on Infowars.com. Paul Joseph Watson, an article on this. Border Patrol terrorizes a mom and kids with knife and taser. And, you know, I, I've got to say, when I drive through these checkpoints, the one in uh, Alpine, when you go down to Big Bend, beautiful area down there, very romantic. I mean, if I lived in the desert, that's where I'd live, would be down there. Great people. <laughs> Almost everybody that lives down there is a listener. It was insane. I mean, I'd go in a restaurant, uh, and, and it, like everyone was a listener. And then another day, I'd go in another restaurant. Everyone was a listener. It was, it was, it was wild. Uh, I'd, read, I'd see firefighters with the, with the National Park Service listeners. I'd see uh, the, uh, I'm not bragging, ooh, I got a lot of listeners. I'm saying liberty is popular. Uh, I ran into most of the uh, park rangers were very nice and were listeners. It, it was wild. Totally different experience than the last time I was down there because I guess they had a marathon and a bike thing going on. So they had a whole bunch of extra federal cops down there that were being total jerks and bugging their eyes out at people and wouldn't say hi to you and were just writing people tickets for drinking beer. And I guess they just were told, you know, keep control of everything. But the point is, totally different experience. What a bad experience last time. It was just like, man, I'm like in a police state. None of that this time. But this woman, again, speaks English, clear English, blonde haired, blue eyes. And my point is, can you imagine what they do to Hispanic Americans? And, I, and you come and you show them your license, and I've been through there, and it's not enough. They go, pull over here, we're going to search your vehicle. I get out of the thing and start getting mad at them. I go, listen, you're 80 miles off the border. You got all this license plate reading equipment here. You got nuclear spectrometers. You know I don't have a bomb in the car. You got illegal x-ray systems out here that are frying people. You're all going to get cancer. You see, you've seen the videos. I go, leave me alone. Well, this time I pull up, and the guy literally goes, oh, Alex. And I just go, go, go. <laughs> it was pretty funny. So, uh... That, the, the guy was just like, okay, U.S. citizens, yeah, okay, Alex, just come on. Uh, but the whole point is, is that this is what these things, up to 100 miles in the country are, every coastline in the border, 100 miles, that's most of the population. I think 73% last time the ACLU did a report on this, live within 100 miles of a border or the coastline. 70 plus percent live on the borders of, of 100 miles or on coastlines. Think about it, west coast, east coast, and the borders. Let, let's go to this incredible video. Here it is. We'll come back and go to calls. He told his other guys, this one's being difficult. Get the taser. And he opens up my door and he says, ma'am, do I need to tase you to get you out of your vehicle? And I was like, no, you don't need to do that. You're acting ridiculous. Why did you even pull me over? Then he comes up to my seatbelt, pulls out a knife. He says, ma'am, do I need to cut you out of your seatbelt? And I was like, no, you don't need to do anything like that. I was like, all you need to do is tell me why you pulled me over. You know, this is ridiculous. Yeah, see, they I got two young to kids a slave. in the car. Then he took my keys for my ignition. And I was forced to get out of my vehicle. If I didn't get out of the vehicle, I felt like this man that was threatening to tase me and cut me out of my seatbelt was going to hurt me. I told my kids to stay where they were because they were like, Mommy, what's going on? Where are you going? And I was like, just stay where you are. The rest of the video is up on Infowars.com. 
70 plus percent of the country now lives under martial law with the Border Patrol. David Knight, hard to believe he's been down here almost a year and a half. He's going to be in studio to start the next hour for one segment, and then we'll continue with your calls. Going back to those calls right now, by the way. Report, EPA tested deadly pollutants on humans to push Obama administration agenda. That's now breaking. Daily callers uh, covering it from C-SPAN and a government report obtained by the Daily Caller. Uh, this is where they didn't tell university students and hospital patients they were pumping in super high-level deadly particles and gases to then skew it and claim it was lower levels and show the health effects to ban wood-burning stoves, you name it. I mean, this is Agenda 21 all the way. This is Nazi stuff. This is stuff that'll kill you. And David Knight was part of the group that infiltrated, got the information um, in North Carolina exposing this. So he's going to be in studio with us. That's the kind of investigative journalist we hire, folks. Okay, um, let's go ahead now and go back to, in fact, there's our article from 2012. Is that when we... I guess that's before we even hired David. That's when he first won a contest. This is crazy. EPA sued over illegal experimentation on human subjects, sued by the group David's part of. We're going to have him in here again in the next uh, start of the next hour. Uh, let's go to your calls right now. Stephen in Georgia, thanks for calling. You're on the air. Hey, Alex. Good to talk to you. Good to talk to you. Um, I, got a couple, I got a question for you. If you could ask Obama as a journalist five questions that would bust open the new world order wide open, what would those questions be? Five questions of who? If you could ask five questions to Obama, ask Obama five questions in an interview, what, to bust the new world, new world order wide open, what would those questions be? Boy, I, you know, we don't screen your calls, so I, that's a, I didn't have time to think about that. That is, that is a whopper of a question. That's a good question yeah, to I, ask. That's a good question to ask callers. What would you ask him? What would I ask him? Mm-hmm. I would, I would ask him why he signed the NDAA and why he's setting up basically a police state. Um, yeah, I mean, he would he has canned answers for everything. So, right. so, 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 A, I wouldn't get to ask that question. B, oh, yeah, I, I, I mean, I would, I would say to him, if it was on TV, it's, it's more about him being there, the whole world's a stage. I know you're a puppet and an empty man who is totally blackmailed and controlled. And you're selling out humanity, and you are a narcissist, and you are a shame, and you will go down in the history books as a total fraud unless you repent now and turn from your anti human ways and tell the truth about what's happening. And it is, it, it is a war crime what you're doing, trying to push GMO on Africa and Asia and the forced inoculations and the um, polio shots that are sterilizing people in mass. You are a party to mass murder. And how dare you fund Al-Qaeda to attack the people of Syria? And how dare you try to overthrow Egypt, turn it over to Al-Qaeda? And how dare you commit mass murder in Libya? You are a disgrace and a fraud and an enemy of humanity. And I just see you for the scum you are. Just like I did Piers Morgan. You are a red coat enemy. You are a usurper. And I declare war on you, and you're on notice. We will not relinquish our firearms. I don't care how many lemmings you've got backing you up. I declare I'm free, and you're an enemy. It's more important to declare them the enemy, not to even ask them questions. We know the truth. You are a usurping enemy. And the declaration of them being an enemy is the end of their fraud. I would, uh, I would ask him why, why it's such a hypocrisy that he wanted to go into Syria and then now they're doing the exact same thing in Ukraine. Well, I would just tell Obama, I could tell you're a weak slave, scared. I can see you're shook up. The narcissism isn't working anymore. Salvation is in being a man. Salvation is in joining humanity. Salvation is telling the truth like Eisenhower or Kennedy. Come out of evil. Come out of Egypt. Tell the truth. Exactly. Appreciate it, Alex. Thank you. Appreciate you, brother. Let's go to Mark in Texas. Go ahead, Mark. We'll probably hold you over, but get to your point. Peace and love, my, my brother. Peace and love. I just wanted to let you know that uh, I came across a really great book as a result of an interview on the Catherine Albrecht show. Uh, Robert Lewis wrote a book called Raising a Modern Day Knight. It addresses the problem in society about not having uh, uh, an understanding what it is to be a man in this world and how that's deeply missing in society and how it's uh, contributing to all the things that we see going on. I want to hear about that when we come back because we're going to play Child Rolling the Dark Tower came straight ahead. 
everything is about emasculating men, cutting fathers out of the life, even if they try to be a father. And women are told the victory is in scuttling and beaching your man. That Women are told they become fulfilled by destroying their man. The statistics say the opposite. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network.